Today's video is on five amazing camouflaging animals. Number five, Great Gray Owl. This ginormous owl is by length counted as the world's largest species of owl. They range from 24 to 33 inches in height, and they have a wingspan that can grow to be longer than five feet. They are pretty big, but that doesn't mean they aren't very good at blending in with their surroundings. While you might think that being big would be a total disadvantage to their ability to camouflage in the northern hemisphere, in which they typically live, is incredible, and they can be pretty darn hard to see. These large birds have excellent hearing, and that's helped by their ruffs, which are basically giant facial discs that help pinpoint prey in the late night and early morning dark hours in which they hunt. They can find and capture prey that is moving low, around two feet of snow in tunnels, and can crash through the snow to get to the prey to a depth of around their own body size. This is called snow plunging, and it requires an excellent hearing. Number four, pygmy seahorses. Pygmy seahorses are so tiny that on average, they measure less than two centimeters in height. They are found in the Coral Triangle area of Southeast Asia and amazingly have taken on the coloration of one of two distinct Gorgonian corals of the Pacific Ocean that are only found in that region. Pygmy seahorses most commonly rest on a branch of sea fan and the appearance of their body surface resembles that of their background. They even have tiny, protruding spots similar to those on the coral. Unlike other seahorses, these pygmy versions have a single gill opening on the back of their heads instead of two on either side. Males carry their young, as most seahorses do. But unlike other species, male pygmy seahorses brood their young inside their trunk instead of a pouch on their tail. They can appear in slightly different colors, depending on what type of coral they live among. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to our channel with notifications on. Number three, chameleon. The chameleons are a distinctive and highly specialized group of old world lizards. There are 202 species of chameleons as of 2015. These colorful lizards are part of the iguana suborder. They are easily recognized by their swaying gait, gripping feet, and horns on their brow and snout. They are also known for their ability to move each of their eyes independently. This unique ability allows chameleons to look in two directions at once and gives them a full 360-degree view of their surroundings. When it comes to aiming at prey, however, chameleons focus their eyes forward in coordination. Most chameleons are found in Africa, Madagascar, Southern Europe, and parts of Southern Asia. In recent years, they can also be found in the United States as well especially in Florida, Hawaii, and California. Chameleons come in many different shapes, sizes, and even colors. However, despite popular belief, not all chameleons camouflage color to match their surroundings. Different species are able to vary their coloration and skin patterns to better match their environment. They use a combination of green, blue, red, pink, orange, brown, black, purple, turquoise, and yellow to camouflage themselves. While this ability provides them with protection from predators, it is also used in social signaling. Chameleons will also change their color in order to attract mates or to ward off their competition. They may even change color depending on their mood, the temperature, physiological condition, and intentions to other chameleons, and also to sneak up on the insects they prey upon. Number two, stonefish. Stonefish blend in perfectly to their surroundings and are among the most venomous fish on the planet. These grumpy fish have potent neurotoxins contained within their needle-like dorsal fins, which rise up when disturbed or if threatened by an approaching danger. Stonefish usually live in coral reef, resting on or around rocks and plants, or resting at the seabed. It's been reported to reach 30 to 40 centimeters or roughly 12 to 16 inches in length. They live primarily above the Tropic of Capricorn. They can be found in shallow tropical marine waters from the Pacific and Indian Oceans all the way to the Red Sea and the Great Barrier Reef. An adult specimen of the stonefish was even found in the Mediterranean Sea. The stonefish eats mostly small fish, 
shrimp, and other crustaceans. True to their name, stonefish resembled mottled gray or brown stones. They remain stationary, which further cements their rock-like appearance. They only move if provoked, either by predator or by prey. More often than not, swimmers moving through the shallow waters may never see them before it's too late. Stepping on a stonefish is extremely painful and can even be life-threatening if the sting is left untreated. Thankfully, there has only been one reported casualty since 1915. Considering that a stonefish can also survive up to 24 hours out of water, it's not unheard of for these stings to occur on the beach as well. Despite their notorious reputation, Many species of stonefish are edible to humans if properly prepared and are considered a delicacy in some parts of Asia, including Japan and China. Number one, mimic octopus. They are an Indo-Pacific species of octopus capable of mimicking other aquatic creatures and their surroundings. Not only can they change their color and texture in order to blend in, but they can also contort their bodies to resemble rocks, coral, and other fish. The mimic octopus is the only currently known marine animal capable of this amazing feat of camouflage. While there are other creatures with similar abilities, the mimic octopus is the only one able to impersonate such a wide variety of other animals. Mimicry is a common survival strategy in nature, but it's not known just how many animals the mimic octopus can imitate, being the only animal that can mimic other animals so accurately. It can mimic sea snakes by stretching itself out, lionfish, flatfish by pulling its arms together on one side and making itself flat, and even jellyfish. It can mimic the shape swimming, action, speed duration, and sometimes the coloration of any of the fish they're familiar with. Also, unlike other animals whose camouflage comes from constant colorations, the mimic octopus can change its color depending on its needs. They are able to do this because they have chromatophores beneath their skin, which is a combination of pigment, nerves, and muscles to change their external appearance. They are thought to change based on thought alone, so once the brain of the octopus gives the signal, the color change ripples through its body. They were discovered in 1998 by a group of scientists off the coast of Sulawesi, Indonesia. They are a smaller species of octopus, and they only reach a total length of roughly two feet. When they are calm, their natural color ranges from light brown to beige with white stripes. Its primary prey are crabs, small fish, and worms. In order to sneak up on them, the mimic octopus may even imitate a crab looking for a mate to trick its prey. The mimic octopus earns a top spot on our list of top five amazing camouflaging animals. Now, let's take a look at our honorable mention. Leaf-tailed gecko. Leaf-tailed geckos can only be found on the island of Madagascar and its coastal islands, and they are truly masters of disguise. They can grow between 2.6 inches all the way up to six inches in total length. Their tails are completely flat and resemble a dead leaf. There are even notches in their tails, which complete the deception making them almost completely indistinguishable from a decaying leaf on the forest floor. When standing still, these tiny creatures are practically invisible. They are most often mottled brown in color, with a yellowish-white line down their backs and their legs. However, they can also come in hues of orange, tan, purple, and yellow. The leaf-tailed geckos are nocturnal creatures, meaning that they have remarkably large eyes for their size. What's also interesting is that they don't have any eyelids. Instead, they have a transparent covering over their eyeballs and use their long tongues to clean away any dirt. They feed on small insects and are able to move through the trees quickly because of their sticky fingers and toes. Even if a predator does spot them, they have a couple of other defensive tactics. They can flatten the body against the surface they're on to reduce their shadow. They can open their jaws extremely wide to reveal a bright red mouth that can scare other creatures off. Or, as a last ditch attempt, they can shed their own tail, which will continue to twitch and distract a would-be predator.
I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.